just leave your key fob uh, in a bag <laughs> on the porch. What do you make of that? Nonsense. Absolute <laughs> nonsense. That doesn't make no sense. Why am I going to leave my keys on the porch for a thief to come get it? So, Alexa, you know, seldom have I done a streeter where it's 100% on one side. Nobody said, oh, no, this is great advice. Can't wait to put my Bimmer's car keys at an accessible uh, theft area. You know what this police officer didn't consider? Because imagine, Alexa, say, uh, God forbid, you had your car stolen, and you file a claim with the insurance company, of course, and they go, Miss Lavoie, can you tell us about what happened? And you go, uh, yeah, um, I was worried about my door being kicked in, so I just left my keys out uh, for you know to facilitate a quick getaway. I even put 50 bucks in an envelope for gas money for the thief. I'm sure the uh, insurance company is going to say thank you very much, Miss Lavoie. Uh, claim denied. Oh, and by the way, we're firing you as a client. You are too big of a loss risk for us. What do you make of that? But I make of that that not long time ago, the Montreal police, uh, I've say, I think it's actually the SQ, the provincial police of Quebec, yeah. were saying that no, don't put images of those people who come and stole your packages and your mail yeah. because that can be a violation of their privacy, of the person who come and steal your own property. You know, thank you for reminding me about that because basically the Quebec Provincial Police were going to bat for the privacy rights of criminals, of thieves, of porch pirates. And you know what, Alexa? They are morons for doing so. I, when that story broke, I heard several lawyers chime in that they're on your property. They don't have any right <laughs> to privacy. And also, think of the implications if we follow that along. How many times have you heard there's a crime committed and police say if you have security camera footage or dash cam footage, can you share it with law enforcement? You know, well, uh, if the Quebec Provincial Police came to me and said, uh, look, you have a car with a, a, a dash cam parked next door to the place where the crime happened, Mr. Menzies, can we have that footage? Well, now I'm going to go, well, gee, officer, I'd like to, but I don't want to violate his privacy, right? <laughs> so uh, my hands are tied thanks to your idiocy. Thank you for reminding me about that. You know, this is, this is troubling for me, Alexa, because it's not only idiotic. It's a matter of the Quebec Provincial Police not even knowing or understanding the law when it comes to privacy rights. Yeah, and also, like, I'm the kind of person that if you are committing a crime, I'm sorry, but you're right right now. It's just putting in pause because, like, you just committed the crime. So you n need to be uh, accountable of what you just do. Like, example, why we are releasing so many criminals is because on the superior court, it's you should be judged under 30 days or that violate your rights. Which right? Yeah. Which right? Yeah. Why 30 days? Why are we doing that? Because you just did human trafficking. You just did an indictment crime. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you do that, you 30 days to be like judged or you violate your rights is not applicable for you. I'm, I'm sorry, but no. No, it's outrageous. The justice system shouldn't be a real life version of the game show Beat the Clock. And if you uh, rag the puck long enough, you get out scot-free. It's outrageous. And it's a slap in the face to the victims. So we've talked about CSBA, Toronto Police, Quebec Provincial Police, all Ooh. making stupid bonehead decisions in favor of the thieves. Why don't we uh, throw to that clip I teased earlier, Alexa, of a Florida sheriff. This is, like Ooh, I yeah. said earlier, my kind of cop. Oh, would I love to see a Canadian politician or a Canadian member of law enforcement give the advice this gentleman did. Let's roll it. And I want to say, uh, as to the person, we don't know what homeowner, which homeowner shot at him. Um, I guess they think that they did something wrong, which they did not. If somebody's breaking in your house, you're more than welcome to shoot them in Santa Rosa County. We prefer <laughs> that you do, actually. Um, so whoever that was, you're not in trouble. Come see us. 
we have a gun safety class we put on every other Saturday. And if you take that, you'll shoot a lot better and hopefully you'll save the taxpayers money. So with that, questions? That's great. Thank you, Olivia. Yeah, I can so I have like the free courses? Me, I don't I want to know how to shoot correctly. <laughs> <laughs>